Okay, so here's the situation here. Um, my buddy Chris Riley sent me this article and was like, hey, do you have any extra liquid nitrogen? And I was like, as a matter of fact, I do. I actually have some extra liquid nitrogen. I had some leftover for a show. So he's in this really cool article that was published really recently about this guy. Kyle Ramage just entered this US uh, barista competition and he got first place. And he got first place by doing something really interesting. What he did is he took liquid nitrogen and he froze the beans down to negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. And then he grinded them because apparently grinding the beans like that gives a better consistency, which then apparently gives it better flavor, but nah, I mean, that's cool for him. So I decided that we were actually going to test his new method of making coffee to see if we can actually taste the difference or not. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys our taste testing committee here. <laughs> because, um, you know, I don't take, I mean, I'm sure this guy invented this really cool method, but you never know until you try it. So we're gonna try it today. All right, what's up, taste testing committee crew? We have Jean-Ann Grubbs, and then we have Adrian Feldman. Hi. What's up, what's up? So here's the methodology, what we're gonna do here. We're gonna use the exact same coffee beans. I got these at Trader Joe's. It's Select Harvest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's so exciting. Amazing. And we're going to do the liquid nitrogen test and put the grounds in this container. And then we're just gonna do regular grounds and then put them in this container. And what we're gonna actually be grinding it up with is this fancy yard here. And then we're gonna actually brew them in the same uh, percolating device, uh, i.e. a coffee maker. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put the uh, the liquid nitrogen roast in here so that it stays nice and warm so that when they're tasting it, they don't know the difference between how warm the other one is. And we're actually gonna see if they can guess the difference between the other. If they can actually taste the difference because yay for Kyle for winning, but if you can't actually taste the difference, then what's, you know, what's the point? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's get, let's get crack a lacking. Ooh. That's so cool. Smoky. Alright, so what we're gonna do is now that it's kind of we're gonna cool these beans down. Oh, they're floating. Look at that. These cool beans are floating. Beans. Pretty chilled bean in there, bro. Ooh, it smells so good. Yeah, it smells really good. You can apparently take this little guy right here and you can crack it with your fingers. And that's exactly what the coffee grinder is doing. But when they get super cold, they are even more brittle, and so by putting it in the grinder, apparently it it makes the the grinds like more consistent, and that then leads to a better cup of coffee. We'll find out. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh look, it, it, like it, it froze the top right there. See where oh, I breathe on yeah, it? Yeah. It froze the top. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that might have been more than a meter, but. Wow, it, uh, I guess it looks more consistent. I don't, I don't really know. All right, well, you know, there's, that's our test. That's our, uh, that's our test batch right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here. So that is our liquid nitrogen beans. Mm. What we're gonna do this time is we're just gonna use these regular beans and we're gonna put them up in here. These are just the regular ones, room temperature. And <laughs> Supposedly it's more inconsistent. I don't know if that's the case or not, but uh, it looks very similar as of right now. I'm thinking, so here's the liquid nitrogen one and... Oh, it's lighter. Oh, it is, it is actually a lot lighter. Interesting. Wow, it is. It yeah. is actually a lot lighter. All right, time to put the coffee on in there. Now we're gonna be using the exact same coffee filters. We're gonna keep everything the same. I'm not just gonna eyeball it. I'm actually gonna go right to that level. So I'm gonna use four of these all the way across. I probably could have weighed it. That probably would have been a good idea, but you know, whatever, science. That's one, two, three, four. You know what, five, yellow. You know what? Six. <laughs> Live like tomorrow's never gonna be. I don't even know what that means. All right, we're gonna go lucky number seven because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I really wanted to get caffeinated, so here we go. Seven for science. 
And we don't want to do too much because there's nothing worse than weak coffee barf. All right, brew away. Here we go. Wait a minute, I gotta put the coffee pot in. <laughs> that could have been bad. Brewing. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna brew the regular coffee, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything, clean everything out, and that should be r roughly the same temperature. I mean, to, to no difference should they be able to tell. That's gonna hold the heat almost identically. All right, here we go. On to round number two. Five. Seven for science. Alrighty, there we go. Here's just the regular, straight up, ye old regular coffee. All right, you guys have to go into the secret rooms of science over there. All right, so we've agreed to do this taste test. Totally black, nothing in the coffees. Um, I don't trust you guys, even with the person in the way here. All right, here we go. We're ready, ready to come out and taste. All right, so the battery's running low, so you guys should do this quick, 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 quick. All right, so go for it right away. Just get in there. All right, so uh, it's up to you guys. So let's do this one. All right, so they're going. All right, so they're going on that one first. Okay. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty scalding. Just came right out of the thingy. Okay, now quickly, quickly. Now clear your palate with water. So water right there. You got water right there. Clear the palate. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. All righty. Mmm. 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 Yummy. Yummy. Okay. All right. So what's your what's your final? What do you guys think? Which one was it? The first one. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I get one more? Yep. You're what's your final decision? I think I'm gonna say this one. I think the first one tastes better. Okay. Why do you taste better? I like the taste of this one. You like the taste of that one better? Why? Why that one? This one tastes stronger. This one tastes stronger. I agree. Yeah. This one tastes a bit more watery. Yeah. And look at the color. One's really dark, and one's like really light. Oh my light. god. Same same amount of so water. So do you think with that same logic, of... then the light one? I didn't even think. I didn't even think. So which one is it? All right. Final go. Which one is the liquid nitrogen one? Which one is the regular one? All right. Thank you. All right, what do you say? I think this one. That one right there? Yeah. Okay, and what's your, what's your, what do you say? This one's liquid nitrogen. That one's liquid nitrogen one? Yeah. It, wrong! This is the liquid nitrogen one! No, Whoa! Okay, so we switched cameras uh, because the other one, the battery died. But anyways! We both apparently got it wrong. But my first instinct, so annoying, you always gotta go with your gut reaction, <laughs> was that this was a liquid nitrogen one, which I liked better. I was definitely like, it tastes, it just tastes better. It's and like more bold. Yeah. This is crazy, but this one smells like different than this one. There's more flavors. I can smell more from this one than I can that one. Agreed. Agreed? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> it's like almost like sweeter, more like, like, you know what you're supposed to hear, it like smell like different. Like the aromas. Scents. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. If the liquid nitrogen ground was consistent all the way across the board and they were really small pieces, then we would have an entire brew of a bunch of little tiny pieces. If the non-liquid nitrogen brew had big chunks, medium chunks, and small chunks, then the water would not have permeated and made uh, as strong of coffee uh, because we had all sorts of different sizes, which is actually very interesting and very accurate uh, when it comes to just physics of grinding coffee. Um, and so if we take a look in there, you really can see the difference. I mean, we can really see this one's darker, this one's uh, a little bit lighter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. I'm gonna go with the uh, Rego coffee first. It's okay. There's definitely more to it. That, I mean, I, I actually was a non-believer of this experiment. I was like, uh, another way that a hipster found to make coffee, super eye roll. Turns out, like, uh, the science behind it is exceedingly accurate, and it does actually produce a better cup of coffee. 
Um, I think because you actually end up getting more out of the same amount of ground. Yeah. So like, you know, for the same seven scoops that we use, we get a more flavorful, a little more, I guess you could say dense, like a little more. So you're basically just super more resourceful. You're just being more resourceful. We all want to be. We're saving the planet one cup of coffee at a time. <laughs> if you guys like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, did you think that liquid nitrogen could make a better cup of coffee? Are you guys stoked on our really scientific test? I mean, we, we did as much as we possibly could inside this kitchen. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos all the time, and I'll see you guys really soon.